Um, everything I've seen today has been extremely important to the Army and to our warfighters. Um, but one of a couple of things caught my attention a little bit more than others. Um, one, the level of technology that's being worked on here far exceeds what I expected to see and definitely what I've seen other places. But I would say probably even more impressive than that is what I've learned about the investment and the education and the technical competency of the workforce. When I found out about the efforts that would be done with the university that's been set up here to educate the workforce in areas that are unique to Army to ensure that we maintain that technical competence, I mean, that's probably the most impressive thing I've seen. The world's evolving, you know, we've seen it, um, we've gone from Cold War and then we have the terrorist um, scenarios that we're dealing with today. Um, you got Russia, you got China, you got a lot of things going on. And our ability to um, stay ahead of the threat and to be able to operate in any given environment, perhaps multiple environments at one time, is going to be a great challenge for us. We have this constant battle because of where we are today. How do you balance taking care of today versus preparing for the future? And I think that's something we have to always keep an eye on and make sure that we have the right balance. We can't sacrifice today for the future, but we can't sacrifice the future for today. This is a great place to be, a place that focuses on its workforce and focuses on the development of that workforce. And I'm impressed by that, and I think we need to replicate this model wherever we can across the Army and even DOD.